Hi everyone! Today we're reviewing the album The Next Day by David Bowie. And this is such an amazing album by such an amazing artist. We start off with the title track and that's an amazing song. Bowie really nails it here on the vocals, the instrumentals, everything. Then we have the song Dirty Boys, which is a groovy saxophone clarinet thing offbeat type of thing that's just amazing to listen to and then we have the stars are out tonight and that's a really fast paced good track i mean i don't know how many times bowie says the stars are out tonight in this song or just plainly the word stars it's just a bit much but all in all it's a great song then we move on to love is lost and that's an amazing song and I especially like the part where bowie says oh what have you done i mean that's so well meant and it's so it feels like it's coming from deep within and it's just amazing all the vocal harmonies going crazy and it's just bliss and i really like the groove and the overall rhythm of this song i mean the sounds that this song makes are really unique but then we have to track where are we now and if i had to name a low point on this album it would be this track this track is a slow song Bowie's voice is really weary here, much more than in all the other tracks. And I don't really like this song because it just does nothing for me emotionally, musically. It's just really the worst song of this album. Then we move on to Valentine's Day, which picks the bass back up. And that's just another amazing song. I mean, this album is full of fast paced, amazing pop rock tracks that are just I don't even, I, I can't even describe it, it's just amazing. Then we move on to If You Can See Me. And I don't know who does the vocals, the background vocals on this, but they're amazing too. I feel like I said the word amazing a lot of times, but that's really the only word that can describe this song and this album. So I also really like how the guitar on this goes like, do 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 doom. I mean, that's amazing. And I've never thought of that being so good or sounding that good then we have i'd rather be high i feel neutral about this song i don't love it i don't hate it it's there it exists it's okay then we move on to boss of me also a nice groove on this track the way the vocals get more and more in your face and there are more of them as the song progresses is a nice touch then we move on to dancing out in space and that's just an amazing song and it feels like Bowie had a great time recording this song. He's like, boop, 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 in the background. I mean, that's just awesome. I mean, the guitars on this track are okay. The vocals are just amazing, as I told you before. And the production on this album has been nothing but insane. I mean, sometimes the lightest touches and the littlest things make the biggest difference. And I think this album features a lot of tiny details that go unnoticed for any neutral listener how does the grass grow is another unique song there's something that sounds like a flute or something and also bowie's vocals going crazy yeah 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 i mean that's just crazy but i like it then we move on to you will set the world on fire which is one of the hardest rocking tracks on this entire album the only thing i kind of dislike about this is that Bowie says the sentence, you will set the world, babe, you will set the world on fire. He says that like 47 times or something. I mean, he says it a lot and that's not really what I expect from a lyricist like Bowie. Then, You Feel So Lonely You Could Die is another mellow track, but it's not as bad as Where Are We Now, but it's still not that great. And then we have The Closure, Heat, which is so atmospheric and Bowie's vocals are so spooky and haunting. I mean, this track really haunted me from the beginning when I first listened to it, and it still does a little bit. All in all, I would say that this album is an amazing experience, and you should definitely check it out. And I'll rate this album an 8 out of 10. And I hope you all enjoyed this review. If you did, please like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you all very soon in the next video.